In the UK, schools are removing analog clocks because students cannot read them. In this increasingly digital world, knowing how to read an analog clock is growing more extinct every year. We set out to see if this was also evident in West Bloomfield. Six forty-three. Six forty-two ish. Okay. Thirty thirty-five. No, six forty-four. It is six forty-three. Seven forty-three. Seven forty-five. Oh wait, no, wait. Six forty-three. Is it seven forty something? Seven fifty something? I can't read clocks. You're down. kidding. This is the one you have me do. Seven, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Oh my God! Oops, like forty-ish. No. Six forty-three. Thirty-six. No. Six thirty-eight. No. Seven. Eight forty-seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six forty-three. Wow. Six forty-three. Oh, I can't see there's no numbers. Um let's see, I would guess like maybe eight eight thirty-five. No, it's seven thirty-five. Yeah. Six thirty. Six forty-five? Forty something? Our results showed that 50% of students at WB could not read an analog clock with no numbers. With this information, we can infer that we may also see the same fate as the UK. Analog clocks may officially be running out of time.